We got some economic data this morning showing inflation is continuing to moderate, but grocery prices still saw a slight tick up month over month in July, up three tenths of a percent after a slight decline the month prior. Brooke De Palma is here to break it all down. Brooke, where are we seeing some of the biggest changes in prices and what's causing it? Yeah, well, good morning, Julie and Brad. I mean, certainly we saw a few months where we saw grocery prices remain flat, and now that's beginning to increase slightly. But the good news here, egg prices continue to decline. We saw egg prices drop 2.2% month over month, down nearly 14% year over year. But the big story here is that while the avian flu outbreak is behind us, what's causing prices to remain high in terms of egg? It's really that corn feed that the, uh, the producers are feeding the hens, the chickens. It's remaining about $7 a bushel right now. It's expected to go down to $5 a bushel after this harvesting season, but an economist telling Yahoo Finance that will be about three to nine months away. So just hold tight for lower egg prices. Uncooked beef roast also driving prices higher, up 6.5%. Now the beef and veal category was up nearly 2.5%. That was the largest jump in nearly two years. What's causing that here is the aftermath of one of the worst droughts that we saw last year that happened in the Southwest, where uh, producers had to sell off their cattle for record prices that ultimately led to now what we're seeing now a uh, jump in prices that they look to rebuild their stock. We're also seeing fresh whole chickens down 2% month over month. That's the largest decline since this September of 2020. And actual competition overseas are driving those prices lower as U.S. producers look to match those other markets. Cereal and cereal products continue to be driven higher by uh, producers, by companies really raising prices there. Sugar and sweets ahead of the ha Halloween season, not looking too hot. We did see a drought impact key sugar beet areas, and it'll take next year, ultimately a year away in order for those all to recover. But the USDA is projecting that food prices will will continue to ultimately uh, decelerate, but not necessarily decline next year. And so buckle up. What about the cost to eat out? Yeah, well, the cost to eat out has jumped now over 7% year over year. And what we're seeing is really the impact of higher menu prices drive that. And we noticed more recently in this recent earnings you know, season, I guess you could call it, is really that foot traffic take a bit of a toll, same sort of sales growth take a bit of a toll there. But one economist telling Yahoo Finance that we're not seeing major switches yet. But as consumers continue to be more value conscious, it'll be something to watch out for as they make the decision between going out to eat or going to the grocery store. So once again, Julie, Brad, buckle up. We're in this for the long haul. Oh, geez. Thanks a lot, Brooke. <laughs>